Hi everyone, welcome to Solar Integrations. I'm going to be doing a quick video today on load limiting on your SunSync and DAE inverters. It seems to be a hot topic from the municipalities right now that they want to implement load restrictions instead of load shedding. So your connection to the grid will be limited to 20 amps. I'm going to explain how to enable that on your inverter so that you're not pulling more than 20 uh, 20 amps or whatever the the limit is that they set from from the grid and um, so you won't get cut off from the grid which would be uh, great it's very easy to do and it will be a very quick video okay this is very easy to enable um, you need to make sure that you have your um, CT coil uh, connected and because this will be um, taking control of the amount of power coming in from the grid and uh, restricting that. Um, in the, on the day inverter, you will be accessing this from your system work mode screen. So um, you'll go to settings, system work mode, and you'll find it at the start. Um, you just tick the grid peak shaving box and put in how much power uh, you want to restrict it to. Um, and in the SunSync, um, you will find it under the grid setup screen um, and it's called grid peak shaving over there and you also just put your, um, your power that you want to restrict it to and then click OK. Um, most of the municipalities will restrict it to um, or are talking about restricting it to 20 amps which at um, 230 volts is about four and a half kilowatts and that is total load which is battery charging and your house load added together um, there are settings in the modbus register for enabling grid shaving and setting the power in that so um, i'm looking forward to seeing some uh, of the integrations adding that ability into there and then we'll be able to do some automations to automatically enable grid shaving when they're uh, during specific uh, times. Um, please stay tuned for those and I uh, will keep you guys posted so we will see you next time and uh, if you're not liked and subscribed please uh, do that it helps me a lot and uh, it is free of charge.